In this week's Engineering Manager 8020 Shorts video, I was lucky to speak with Anya O'Dwyer. Anya is a civil engineer and the CEO of Innovate Engineering. And Anya, you've done some amazing things in your career so far, including building your own engineering company from a couple of people up to 20 people. And I know that in order to do that, you have to delegate effectively. You have to give work to others, which is something that all of us as engineers struggle with. So what I'd like you to talk a little bit about in this video today is how did you delegate? How do you do it effectively and how do you continue to get better at it? I'll start right off the bat by saying it's one of the hardest things to do. Um, it's hard because you're delegating things that you actually want to do. Um, you know, there's, there's so many technical components and, and like there's times where I have to force myself to hand things off and, and I want to get into the details. I mean, it's my natural tendency. Um, so it's, it's something that I am constantly learning, but I'm also constantly aware that I have a natural tendency to do it. Um, so for me, I mean, I surround myself with people that I know and believe, trust that I can delegate these things to do, to, you know, for them to do them um, and assign them. But then, you know, I still have this tendency to want to follow up. So I try and put kind of management techniques in place where, you know, how can I delegate something but not be a micromanager and trust that people are doing it. Um, but it, it's like I am constantly working on that because my natural tendency is to want to open that spreadsheet and dive into it. And, you know, I, I get I get so much joy out of, you know, setting up formulas and, and thinking things. And I'm like, I can't do that. You know, there's there's so many other bigger, more important things that I need to get done. Um, so it's 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 a struggle, but I'm I'm constantly working on it. And I think as engineers will likely always be working on us um, throughout our careers. I think you just kind of have to recognize that and, and continuously work and, and, and manage that process. It does sound like though, from what you said, there's something that is interesting is that, you know, there's things you can certainly work on, like the actual process of, you know, delegating to someone and maybe setting expectations and breaking a task mm -hmm. down for them. And like you said, then, you know, balancing between micromanaging and, maybe laying off too much. But another thing you said there was, you know, kind of surrounding yourself with the right people. So, you know, and in your position, I'm sure, you know, with hiring and things, you have some of those, uh, some of the abilities to do that, where if you find the right people and you build the team with the right kinds of people, with the right talents and the right people skills, then the delegation process, I'm sure will just be easier because yeah. of the, you know, because of the interaction. So, I think that's something that's an, an, an important kind of takeaway from what you said there is I think the delegation process itself, we can continue to work on and streamline, but the people that you're working with to begin with, I think play a huge role there. Yeah. I mean, they play such a big role and, and, you know, it's, it's about hiring the right people, but then it's also about recognizing what, you know, what are the strong talents and points of these people, right? Like, and, and I'm, I constantly try and work on that. You know, there are some people that I work with that, you know, anything, say, administrative or, you know, paperwork, things like that, they will, they despise it. They hate doing it. So, you know, I try to be conscious and maybe push that to someone else that, that gravitates a little bit more towards it. And so it's about surrounding yourself with the right people, recognizing, you know, what value they bring and where they can thrive and, and what, you know, what makes sense to kind of have those people work on. Um, but then it's also, it's the coaching them too, right? And, and kind of, you know, I can assign responsibility to someone, but if, if they don't know what they're doing, or a lot of times if they don't know why they're doing it, right, then it's just another task that they're receiving. And so from my experience, you know, I mentioned earlier that I'm the kind of person that, you know, I liked to be empowered and given responsibility. And um, so if I was just given a task and asked to do something, sure, I can do it. But when I'm told why I'm doing it and the impact it will have and maybe where it feeds to the wider chain. Um, so I, I try and recognize the people that really need that and, and coach them and work with them. And, um, you know, it, it, it's a there's a lot of aspects to it, I think, you know, when you are delegating and surrounding yourself with those people, I mean, you know, you're just trying to be aware 
as much as I can is, is something that I also try and work on.